to be a small business owner and to make it in rural Minnesota, you have to be on game with the funds coming in and you have to have a stable uh, income, you know, just to keep it going. Good afternoon uh, again everyone, Congressman Pete Stauber here. It's uh, Pete's Power Play and today we're at the Dalcor Corporation in Mora, Minnesota and we're here with the owner, Carla. Carla, tell us about uh, Dalcor. Dalcor, we bought it in uh, 2008. Um, it is a agricultural manufacturing company. We do grain conveyor components, uh, welding, uh, chain assembly, plastic breakdown for the paddles, um, distributors, um, such so like that. This is a family business? It's a business. family business. What brought you into it? Um, the need to change um, out of construction family into a more, into a building, into a more um, stable atmosphere sure. as far as wage and pay and, yep. and stability in the Minnesota winters. Yeah, yeah, it's not so sure. fun being out in construction. So Are you originally yeah. from the area? I am originally from Malacca. Okay. But um, my husband is from Mora. Okay. Yep. And hey, what is it? What has it been uh, during the COVID nineteen crisis for the company? Um, our company did not see. We were considered one of the essential businesses to stay open, so we didn't see a whole lot of um, situation change here, um, and we didn't have anybody sick or out. Um, a little bit. We had one gentleman leave, um, but no COVID. Um, just because he had a compromised system, so we just let him go, and he's back with us. But yeah. for a while, he had to be away from the, the company. But. You know, you're one of the small, bit, 30 million small businesses mm -hmm. across this nation. Um, in Minnesota, in particular, our district, what's the biggest hurdle for you as a small business owner? What's the biggest hurdle? I think taxes is a hurdle. Um, being the size that we are, the space that we take up. Um, it is, it's an incredible amount to undertake, even though we're doing a, a great business here. Yeah. To be a small business owner and to make it in rural Minnesota, it's, you have to be on game with the funds coming in and you have to have a stable mm -hmm. uh, income uh, well, to break sure. that in, you know, just to keep it going. You're the engine of our economy. Mm -hmm. How many employees do you have here? Right now we have, I believe, seven. We've had as little as five, sure. depending on what's going on in the world, and we've had as many as 12 just depending on how busy the industry is. When we had the flooding that was across the nation yeah. a couple of years back, things slowed down. Um, and then we had a slowdown last year, um, kind of residual effect from some of the crop prices and the crop farmers couldn't get in. So then we aren't really needing, you know, they're not replacing parts as much. Sure. And, you know, some of our stuff goes international, goes to Canada um, through a bigger company in Cambridge, okay. which is where our stuff goes to. So, Great. you know, we're kind of reliant on the farmer. Sure. You know, we'll go hand in hand with that, so. And we know if you're uh, dealing with uh, Canada, the USMCA, right. that agreement just went in uh, last week. Right. That was a good agreement. Does, uh, yeah. do, you, do you know how it's going to benefit you yet? Not yet. <clears throat> uh, we just saw the, the components of that, just reading over that. So we'll, we'll wait. Um, a lot of it depends on some of the steel that's coming through, sure. too. Um, it's just a waiting game from other production companies getting sure. product to us. Them. And we know uh, Canada and Mexico are our best trading partners, right. and I think that agreement, right. I think over time you're going to see that would be yeah. a positive help for you. Right. So, <clears throat> I'm also told you're on the airport board, I am. airport zoning board. Yep. Tell me about yeah. that. That's been interesting. I am not a pilot. I am a wannabe pilot. My brother is a retired Air Force pilot, okay. a lieutenant colonel, um, and I've always been intrigued by it. I've done a little bit of the right-hand side piloting, not the left-hand yeah. side. Um, but just being on the board, seeing how that all plays out in the community, yeah. what what the airport, you know, in a small town, how it functions, what its needs are, um, the master plan that we've gone through to bring in another crosswind runway. Um, so it's been it's, it's an economic really, driver for the yeah, more area. It's, it's, Absolutely. it's saying we have another route of transportation to come in. We're close to Hinkley. Yep. You know, uh, the casino pulls in some of the bigger entertainments, and once in a while they'll use our airport. So awesome. yeah, so it's been really it's been a fun time there. Let me uh, just uh, end by saying I appreciate your time, uh, uh, Dal Corp. Dal Corp. Corporation yep. here. We came in to some workers. You're the engine of our economy a small business owner, which we love to see mm -hmm. doing well. Uh, this is, uh, you're the American dream. You're, I'm fighting for our, right. your way of life and our way of life. 
you live in a great district, Minnesota Waste Congressional District. You're part of it, your family's mm -hmm. part of it. Thanks for inviting us in. Yes, thank you. It's fun to have you here.